Hello and welcome to this video where we will be implementing infinite scrolling using LiveWire. I have a product model where I have inserted some dummy records and I would like to scroll them on this particular screen. Uh, currently, uh, this is the view and it is simple blade. So, let's go ahead and first of all, uh, we are going to create a LiveWire component. And I'm going to call it load products. This is the component that we have created, and here I'm going to create the mount method, and this mount method would and this mount method would expect two properties page and per page the page is the page that we want to display and per page represents the number of records we want to display in a single page and within the render method I'm going to fetch the products and here we are going to return a view along with the products this should be products and i'm also going to make sure that our view is present within this products folder in this view i'm going to move it into the products folder and this would be displaying all the products so all right now let's uh, call our live wire component over here we can do so using live wire all products and I do not want to pay any parameters so it would take the default of 1 and 10 this should be hyphen instead of underscore this should be actually per page and this one should be page and there we go our products are displaying fine before we move further I'm going to copy this card as, uh, HTML from the Tailwind CSS site and I'm going to apply it over here instead of what I have currently. And instead of this image, I'm going to use this vr.placeholder and I'm also going to pass the product name. And there we go, it looks a bit better. And I also give a margin bottom of four. now what we want to do is we want to display a button over here clicking on which uh, would fetch the next set of records I can create the button over here and then call a method within this component however that would not be very e efficient and it would reload all the records again so if we go to page 2 it will load all the 20 records if we go to page 3 it will load all the 30 records so we want to avoid that so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create another component and i'm going to call it load more products
and this component is, would be responsible for displaying the load more button I would have the same code over here and this would render products dot load more products and this for the time being just display a button dot more products and I'm going to include it over here and I would also pass page and per page parameters reload it and we see that button now on the click of this button I would have a method so let's use fire click and call log more so I'm going to define this load more method and what it will do is that it will just increment the page number and I would also define one more flag which would be false initially and I'll set it to true over here within this render method I will check if this not more is true in that case I'm going to repeat this code and I'll also import this model If this load more is true, it is going to return this view, which is responsible for displaying the records. Otherwise, we would return the normal view, which displays the load more button. So let's uh, test this out. I click on load more products. It loads the next set of products. load a lot more it keeps on doing that one check that we need to make is that we only need to include it if there are more pages to be included so I'll have if products has more pages Now if I go down, this is the second page, third page, fourth page and now when I click this should no longer display because I only have five pages of data and there we go. Now that record that button is no longer displaying and unlike the other examples that you would have seen this one is only loading 10 records at a time and it is not loading the whole list now what we want to do is that instead of this load more button we need to make changes that as soon as the user scrolls down it automatically fetches the other records so this is the code uh, that I have we need to implement this window on scroll and as soon as the this condition becomes true 
here we are checking if we have if the user has scrolled to the end of the document we need to call this load more button load more method so in order to do that i'm going to make use of alpine so what i will do is that here i'm going to define x init and i'm going to call this check scroll method and within the x data and I'm going to copy this code over here and here we need to call this load more method so I'm going to use this at the rate this refers to this particular component and then load more and I think that should be it let's test this out so as soon as we go down you see that more reports are being loaded so this way we have successfully implemented infinite scrolling i have got this uh, loading indicator code which i've got from tailwind css and i'm going to wrap it up in a div Now this would display as a loading indicator while this Ajax call is running. Let's test this one. As soon as I go down, we see that there is a loading indicator which gets display next to the load mode products for a very short time. So this is it with the infinite scrolling. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.